Hi, this is a video on how to make a 3.5mm jack to RCA um, connection in a hurry. So, I wanted to do a video conferencing. I had some speakers um, on the codec that C Lab supply. We supply a range of codecs, but the connection for the speakers on the back is often, as is its industry standard, a RCA um, phonotype connector so it will basically accept um, these kind of male connectors which are an RCA phono um, connector so on the back of the units there's often female and these males connect into the into the back of them the issue is the speakers I had would only accept 3.5 millimeter jack um, so I basically needed to plug this into the back of the um, codec and I needed to plug this jack 3.5 millimeter jack into the um, speakers themselves so you can kind of see what I did which was I took a um, a normal 3.5 millimeter jack I cut off one end I took an RCA type cable I sort of cut off one end and I've basically spliced them together but the question is when you cut these types of cables when I peel back here I end up with three wires one of them is what I would call a shielding wire um, it's basically this is the one that will is going around the other two wires and it's to reduce electrical interference and I've got two kind of wires up, um, here as well the question is what to do with them and then when you look at the RCA and you peel back you find that you've only got um, two cables a central cable and then another wire running around the side that's acting as a kind of shield again so you are basically sort of facing a problem where you're trying to work out how to connect this jack to this RCA and this has three cables and this has two cables and so what you end up doing is I took the digital voltmeter and I worked out that this central plug there was no resistance to this cable here so I, I knew that this this wire was talking to the central plug and this shielding cable as you kind of guess was talking to the to the sort of to the circular bit that goes around the side so the circular bit around the side was talking to the shield which is kind of I was kind of expecting and then the central plug the central part here was talking to was connected to this wire here so I understood this this cable and then I did a similar thing with this I worked out that my um, my sort of wire of this central wire here was actually talking to the central part. When you look at a jack, it's often segmented into three parts. So there's a top part, a middle part, and a bottom part, and they're separated by sort of tiny little black circles. And so this, this sort of central wire here was connected to the central bit here, and then the shielding was connected to, and I shall just remind myself by checking so I'll do it again yeah so the central bit sorry the shielding the shielding is connected here one of my red wires, my red wire here is connected to the middle here and then I have a white cable and that was connected to the tip because I have three three wires here and two wires here what I ended up doing was I kind of rightly figured that I want to take this central the central bit the jack here is the bit that needs to connect to the central plug here so I've recognized which 
with a digital voltmeter which wire is connected to the central bit and it's this wire so I take that wire here and I've basically connected it I did actually solder these things but what I'm doing is I'm connecting the central bit of this plug to the central bit of this plug and then I'm shorting together the other two cables on the jack I twist those together so that they become one wire and then I wrap those with this one and so I take two wires and I bring them together to make just one wire and then I'm left with this wire that I short with the other wire and that's how to make a um, 3.5mm jack to an RCA connection. Thank you very much.